Hi YouTube, welcome to MA Academy Python for Penetration Testers tutorial series. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to take input from the user and use it in your script. So let's get started. Now let me open my terminal in here. So we go to the documents and then there is, I've created a directory, a Mac changer. So in here you can see that there are already a couple of uh, scripts. These are from my previous tutorials. So let's copy the last one. As I keep improving it, I will make, uh, I will continue making new copies of it. So you could, uh, uh, that way it will be like in a small increments and you would understand what changes are there, what uh, changes I add and things like that. And I can share it with you guys if you want. So uh, let me open this one in here. So if you don't understand uh, any part of this code, I will go quickly over it. But if still, if you don't understand it, you can watch my previous tutorials in that I have explained all this in detail. So the first one in here, this is the shebang line. So this is, it tells where the Python is. Not really necessary, but I'm uh, uh, including it anyways. Uh, in the second line, I'm importing the subprocess module. So the subprocess module is used to run commands. Uh, on your um, machine. So if you're running Windows or Linux, doesn't matter. So you need this, import this module to run these commands. The second in here, these two variables that I have created, this sets the interface and the MAC address. And in here, I'm printing the line that uh, changing the MAC address of this interface to this MAC address. So this interface, this is the variable, and this new MAC address is this variable. So it tells you that we are changing the, this interface, this interface's MAC address to this then we use the subprocess call. So the subprocess is the name of the module, which we have important, and then we are using the call function. And what it does is that it runs this command, ifconfig, and then whatever the value of um, interfaces, which is eth0, and then down. So it uh, takes down the interface or brings down the interface. The next line, it changes the MAC address. So you can see that I'm using the new MAC variable in here. And the last uh, command, this one in here, it brings up the interface. So what I will do in this tutorial is that I will show you guys how to, uh, instead of statically setting these MAC addresses, and uh, sorry, instead of uh, statically setting this interface name and MAC address, I will show you guys how to take it interactively from the user. So in order to do that, uh, let's delete this first. And also this part in here. So if you want to take it from the user, first you have to type in input. So you will be using this function. And then we type in a message that we want to prompt to the user. So I will say something like, uh, enter the interface name. So whenever the user uh, runs this script, the user will be prompted with enter the interface name. And whatever the user types, it will be saved in this variable called interface. Now for the second line, let's do it. And uh, let's say enter the new MAC address. So it takes the uh, MAC address from the user, whatever the user types. Now let me save it in here. And before we do that, let's quickly go over this and see my MAC address. So you can see that currently my MAC address is this in here 080027D9B01C. So we will change it, whatever we want. Now let me first change this to an executable or make this an executable. So plus X, Mac changer. So let me uh, do this quickly in here. So, okay, already we have this X in here. So it is an executable, we can run it. So let's type in Python and then Mac changer 03. So you can see that it prompts me for the name of the interface in here. It says enter the interface name. So the interface name in this case is ETH0. And it is saying ETH0 is not defined. Why is it saying it is not defined? Okay, yeah. Let me change this again, sorry. Since we are running it using Python 3, so let's type in Python 3 and ETH0. So in here you can see that it has taken it. And then it says enter the new MAC address. So let's type in our new MAC address. We want it to be 0011222 and then... Let me... So these are columns, by the way, and then one, two, one, two, and then one, two. So let's press enter. So you can see that this message in here, it says changing the MAC address of interface ETH0, and it's saying it's changing it to this MAC address. 
So previously you saw that the MAC address of this interface was this. So let's run this ifconfig command again. ifconfig eta0. Now you can see that the MAC address in here is the same that we entered in here. This one. So they match. So it means that our new MAC address has taken effect. And this is how you can spoof your MAC address. However, there is some problem with this script because uh, using this technique, I can enter in some of my uh, a customized command or how do I say it? I can enter in a command that, uh, so in here I can terminate this ETH and then I can run my own command, but don't worry. Um, so this script is kind of vulnerable. So in the next tutorial, what I will do is that I will teach you guys how to handle this. So in here, we haven't checked for anything. Whatever the user has typed, we have accepted it. In this case, it was ETH0 and then also this new MAC address. So we are not checking anything like whether it's correct, not, uh, whether it's secure or not, things like that. So in the next tutorial, I will show you guys how to handle, handle it properly so that nobody else can uh, uh, misuse your, your script or not use it in a malicious way. Right now, it is vulnerable. Uh, some, if somebody wants to use it maliciously and get some other things from your script, they can do it. Uh, so in, so in the, uh, if you are interested in knowing that, I will explain that in the next tutorial. Now, having said that, this is it for this one, guys. If you have any questions, suggestions, or recommendations, uh, feel free to put it in the comments again below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.